Hey Toy Fans, D21Beast here, and I just wanted to update you here at the end of February, let you know what's going on with my channel. Um, I recently placed an order for the new Spider-Man Marvel Legends from Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, frustratingly, they haven't shipped yet, and I've had them on order for about a month now, so I'm really hoping they go out soon, but definitely be on the lookout for those reviews, hopefully sometime next month. Also, I've been trying a new program, uh, Project Geek Week. I hope you guys have been watching that, if, that you like the segments. If there is something you like better than something else, let's say comic book reviews over video game news or maybe just movie casting or, or reviewing television episodes more than something else. Just kind of let me know what your favorite is either in those videos or let me know in this video, this blog right here. And um, I'll be sure to take that into consideration as we create new content. But it's been a lot of fun to be able to do that. Also, uh, here the last day in February, at least the last weekday in February, we've had some pretty depressing news. Uh, Leonard Nimoy passed away today, and as you guys may know from my reviews and what I've talked about on Project Geek Week, I've been a lifelong Trekkie, and that's been some very, very sad news to see uh, Leonard Nimoy pass away. Uh, we, we, of course, know he announced last year that he was suffering pretty badly from COPD, um, an illness related to smoking. I can't, you can get it other ways, but it, um, it seems like smoking is the number one cause of that sort of illness. So uh, it was really just kind of too bad. I'm glad that uh, he's not suffering anymore. Uh, but as a Star Trek fan, um, you know, it's just one of those actors that I really enjoyed seeing in any project he did, but especially enjoyed uh, his take on Spock and the way that Star Trek through Spock analyzed the human condition and and what it meant to, to be human or to think about something from an outside perspective or, all, you know, all the sort of morals and everything that came with that. Um, I'll probably touch more on that um, on Project Geek Week this weekend as I've had some time to think about it, but immediately that's just kind of what I'm feeling is just general sadness. But I am really glad that I've been able to see his work, uh, read some of his poetry, see some of his photography over the years. Uh, I've enjoyed his Twitter account, especially recently. He's been very insightful. So... Um, yeah, so that's kind of just what's going on, I guess, with, with me and with my channel. Uh, but I also want to say that I got a package today from a, a good friend of mine, Jeff. Now, Jeff's watched a lot of my reviews, and he's somebody I've known for a long time. But he recently sent me a mystery package. So I wanted to go ahead and open that on camera. I've got no idea what he sent me. He asked me for my shirt size, but the box that he sent me is a bit big for a t-shirt. So this should be pretty exciting. So with that, guys, I guess we'll go ahead and get to the box. Alright guys, so here's the box that Jeff sent me. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Got some scissors here, just going to cut right along the top. There we go. Oh, didn't quite get it. Alright. Oh man, I think I can already see what this is supposed to be. This looks pretty awesome. Oh man. Let me get this cut here. I'm seeing an OS and what looks like a Marvel Select box, so I've got a pretty good idea now. <laughs> yes. Jeff got me, wait a minute, Jeff, Jeff, you rock, man, look what I've got here, I've got the Marvel Select Colossus and the Marvel Select uh, Juggernaut, uh, I'm a huge, huge X-Men fan, and Colossus is certainly my favorite X-Men, uh, pretty well tied with Beast, but I really, really like Colossus, and Juggernaut is probably my favorite X-Men villain, this is really, really cool. Thank you so much, Jeff. You are awesome. Guys, I'm going to put his Twitter link on the screen here. If you guys want to hit him up and just kind of get to know Jeff, definitely do so. But Jeff, thanks a lot. It feels like my birthday all of a sudden. I didn't deserve this. You are an awesome friend. Well, guys, that's my unboxing. You'll probably see reviews of these things coming fairly soon. Hey guys, and all the excitement I forgot to ask, which one of those figures did you want to see me review next? I mean, I've got Juggernaut and I've got Colossus. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to check it out and make sure I get to the one that you guys want to see most. And Jeff, thank you so much for giving me those figures. I feel so spoiled. I mean, it's like it was my birthday today or something. You rock and you're amazing. And guys, you should definitely check out Jeff on Twitter. He's into geek and nerd culture just like I am, just like you guys all are. And he's a huge Star Wars fan. So with Episode 7 coming out this year, he is probably not going to shut up about that franchise. And that's a good thing, right, Jeff? Uh, but uh, he'll probably uh, hit you back. I'm sure he'll be engaging conversation with you guys. And if you're fans of Star Wars, I'm sure he'll keep talking Star Wars even after Episode 7 comes out. So that was really amazing. Uh, here we are at the end of February, guys. We've got March coming up. If you you live in the middle of the United States or thereabout, um, I'm definitely going to be at Planet Comic Con in Kansas City here about March 15th or so. So if you live in the area and you go to the convention and you see me, definitely give me a shout out. I'd be uh, interested in talking to you guys and just kind of catching up, seeing what you think about everything going on and what you're looking forward to most, you know, coming out this year, comic book wise, movie, not, movie wise or whatever. Um, and guys, for all of you Trekkies out there, uh, we did get a uh, 
a major blow to us this this morning. So, um, you know, I don't want to bring everything down at the end of this video, but I just want to say uh, we learned a lot from Leonard Nimoy. But if there's one thing that we take away from you know all of the the positivity that he's given us, it's whether it's in life and death, after whatever you believe in, live long and prosper.